New tonight, a new bill aimed at curbing gun violence is making some headway in the state. The legislation would establish a new code to categorize firearm sales. Supporters claim this would help law enforcement recognize dangerous firearm purchasing patterns, but those in opposition are calling this a backdoor form of registration. Fox 31 Samantha Spitz is on it tonight, hearing from both sides new attempt. We're talking about merchant category codes, which are four digit numbers that identify the type of business involved in a transaction. So these apply to grocery stores, department stores, and so on. So this proposed legislation would require payment card networks like Visa, MasterCard, to provide a specific code for businesses that sell firearms and ammunition. A new gun reform bill that merges finance and the firearm industry is making its way through the state legislature. The proposed legislation would establish a new code to categorize firearm sales. Really what it is is just a four digit code that bolts on to an existing system that banks and credit card companies use to protect themselves from illicit activity. And when it comes to gun crime, that has the benefit of keeping us safe. Hudson Munoz with Guns Down America is a supporter of the bill. He says these codes already help banks and card companies with fraud detection and assessing risk. Let's inhibit criminal behavior a little bit um, by assigning the code to gun and ammunition stores so that when somebody has um, bad intent when buying a weapon, there's an alert in place that stops that from happening. In the past, supporters claim several perpetrators in mass shootings have used credit or debit cards to purchase vast quantities of firearms and ammunition. The really dangerous thing about this is it effectively creates a backdoor gun registry. Rocky Mountain Gun Owners Executive Director Taylor Rhodes is in opposition of the bill. So let's get, say, you go to Cabela's and you buy a shotgun. The government will know you bought that shotgun because of that merchant code associated uh, with your purchase. Beforehand, it was just deemed as a sporting good and they couldn't track it the way that they're going to now. Right now, he says they're juggling several lawsuits filed against five firearm related laws previously passed in the state. Well, regardless of what the bill is, if it's gun control, Rocky Mountain gun owners will be there to fight it, whether it be under the Golden Dome or in the courtrooms. And they have my members have my word on that. The bill cleared the Senate Business, Labor and Technology Committee this week. It now heads to further consideration by the full Senate. We'll be tracking its progress and be sure to bring you the latest both online and on air. In studio, Samantha Spitz, Fox 31.